Hey guys, welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. This is episode 14, I believe. And we're back in the central plaza where we just fought the tyrant. But now we can deal with some of uh, some dogs out here. We'll see if the poison will actually do good damage this time. Last time it did like 40. So let's see where it wears off this time. This is just with a low faith character. So it does 80, which is maybe slightly more than a... It is more than a... Uh, a regular projectile would do, but you can you can get the poison stacked up so it does like 300, 400 damage. It's still not going to do that much, but it'll do a decent amount. And apparently there was just an empty bottle chilling out right here, so that's pretty useful. Uh, in my test video, I didn't uh, didn't encounter that or anything. So good to know. You saw the dog. The dog hit me in the back, but since my shield is on my back right now, it, it repelled him, so... See some value in uh, dual welding. I was uh, nailing all the uh, the fist combo timings in the test run, but it doesn't seem to be happening here. Here we see a, a rune mysteriously g blocking a door in the distance, but can't do anything in this with this right now. And here's our main little thoroughfare of the area. Let's see if we can get a backstab. No. Somehow that hit me. Don't ask me how, but that's okay. Let's lure out the fast guy since he's much more speedy than uh, his slower counterpart. And we at least got the backstab on this guy. As always with this game, you can. I mean. This game allows you to engage four or five enemies at once if you wanted to. And unlike the Souls games, I think you can do that reasonably well, at least with the Rogue. Because you can shield bash and effectively crowd control them, which is really nice. You got him? No, not quite. But I'd be dead soon enough. In the experience grinding video, I showed off the, uh, the jumping claw attack, which is immensely better than the jumping dagger attack. So, that can be quite useful. Is that empty skull, maybe? No. Just a, a regular old sealed rune chilling out here. Um. Oh, well, there's definitely another way down where I'm about to go. But this is the where you're supposed to go. This little... If you're walking along, you can barely even see that there's a, a space in the wall there, but... Look to the right. Now, now you could go the intended route, but we're not gonna go there quite yet. For the one who stood up for us, this is a well. This is the most obscure quest in the game. Is how what you do with this thing. So I'll show that up in a much later video. And here's another shield guy facing the wrong direction. And we get on nice. Uh, huh. I'm not sure if that Almaster is supposed to be up here, but who can say? It's in my interest to try to eliminate him before I aggro the, the second enemy, which is a, a brand new enemy. And he did aggro, but... Okay, we got him. Didn't whiff, but... Right. Oh, man, I'm low on health. <laughs> well, didn't die. All is well. So we want to bait this guy into doing physical attacks, so we're gonna fire breath, so we can just kill him very quickly. But these enemies are relatively dangerous, and there's a much larger version of them later. The space between dimensions tore apart. Threads of energy collide in time and space. Strong ones form links between dimensions. Most rifts are just inaccessible sources of energy, but others are tears. They become the pathways. Some appear like a whirlwind, like a storm that only a lunatic would enter. I have not traveled through a pathway myself, but some say that when you do, it changes you. And there's a little bit of lore behind the pathway that we're in. But you see the the large bloom, <laughs> blooming ray of light from the heavens? That's sort of our objective for this area. Lurker thrust, great sword. Great swords, unlike the other huge weapons, um, 
the great hammer and the, the pole sword, you can actually use it with one hand. It looks kind of awkward with one hand, but it is usable. Mm. Uh, I think there's a staircase around here, I just... Not sure where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. We found it. And this is back... Well... Uh, am I gonna... Uh, get this guy? Oh, I don't have my shield equipped. No wonder I can't shield bash him. Genius. Okay. We got him? Yes. It is possible to stagger even the very large enemies with shields, but their their stamina is hard to determine, so it's not usually the best idea to try. We're back in the western amateur chamber here, and the, the tyrant's key opens this door. And that's just another ancient plate, so no need to shut up. But in this chest we find the uh, the cunning leg armor, as well as something else that didn't show up, but I believe it's like a spell point shard. Sure. The the cunning leg armor is um it's the rogue armor between hot blood and cold blood, so see it weighs more and has more armor than hot blood, but has significantly more weight and less defense than cold blood, so we'll stick with cold blood. Uh I believe this is the right door. Yes, okay. And here we are on the, the outskirts of the arena here. There's levers to pull, so we can open these, uh, these fences, but this one at least doesn't have much of a purpose, so. Uh, I'm not sure if this will be lower or not. Let's see. It is another ancient plate. Okay, so the enemy up here is the first, really the main spellcasting enemy of the game, and he's possibly the most frustrating enemy in the game because he has a like a damage reflectability and if he gets that off then, then you take pretty much 100% of the damage that you deal to them so you pretty much can't hit them if you're doing any kind of good damage. And they also have uh, magic projectiles that still do a ton of damage even with my shield equipped so not exactly the friendliest of them. Let's see if I can kill him. Okay. And the last big gimmick is that they explode when you kill them, so you'll have uh, many deaths the first time through just dying to that stupid explosion or to the, the reflect. And I guess that's supposed to be the introduction to the spellcaster, though there are no spellcasters in this entire area before the, ni the next boss. We get yet another empty battle, so now I'm up to like 11 or something, maybe 10. And we get the Greed Ring. What the Greed Ring does, you'd figure it'd be like a, um, increases souls income or increases item item discovery. But no, it, what it does is it, a, it increases your magic damage by 20% and it reduces your maximum mana by 20%. But there's a bug associated with it that may or may not exist where it just permanently reduces your mana. <laughs> your maximum mana, so I'm not going to use it. I'm a little scared of that. And here we see the introduction of the large shield-bearing enemies, which I guess technically you don't have to come to this area, so you don't have to fight these guys quite yet, but this is the, the first one you're supposed to encounter in the game, at least on the main route. And he really doesn't want to walk toward me, so... Come on, you can do it. There it goes, okay. And I can do two R2s with the fast weapon since it's relatively quick. So I can kill this guy a little bit faster than if I was using the daggers, the revenge daggers. And if if you want a weapon or a button to just spam with uh, with this weapon, it's probably just R2 if you didn't want to uh, do combo attacks for whatever reason. Or you could spam the jump attack, of course. Uh, I tried to do a jump attack finish there, but didn't quite get it. Mm, oh. So here's our, our challenge room, but obviously it's not open yet because we haven't killed the boss, but this is for a later boss in the game, so I believe three, four bosses later than where we are right now, three bosses after we've killed the boss of this area. 
So just keep that in mind for when you return to this area. Um, I'm going to head to the bonfire of this area, the experience crystal, whatever they call them. There will always be bonfires to me. And then we'll end this episode. There might be one more large enemy. And we can see out here the scenery looks quite nice. And we could just sort of stroll down this mountain path in this fairly large and open area. That attack right there is a ton of recovery, so it's usually a pretty good one to dodge. I think that was a grab, so that may have killed me if he hit me with it. But he did not. There we go. And you give us a sealed room, okay. So here's the checkpoint, and I'll... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you next time.